Giorgio Scalvini is wanted by all of Europe's big clubs, AC Milan, Juventus, and then the Premier League comes calling you. Liverpool being linked, and you know Chelsea aren't going to go down without a fight. Everyone wants him, and now it's time to see if we can take him from a wonder kid to a legend. Here is the 18-year-old Italian Giorgio Scalvini at Atalanta. He is a defensive mid, a centre-back. He could be... I mean, the physicals are all above 12 to begin with. He's 6 foot 4. Wow. Uh, has one cap for Italy, one under 21 cap. He, I mean, first touch, heading, marking, tackling all over 14, positioning, teamwork, even his vision's a living. I've got an idea for Scalbini. So we're going to we're gonna set up his training. We're going to take him through with Atalanta to begin with and see if we can develop him into the wonder kid he is supposed to be. We'll do it until he's about 30 years old, so 12 years down the line, and we'll see how he does. Let's get season one out the way. That's what you want to see from your six foot four centre back getting up for a header and I go from a corner to beat Juventus in Serie A. Magical, but how is he getting on? Here he is looking at headings up to 15, tacklings 15, positioning, vision's already up to 13. Physicals are all growing, everything's now above 13 or above. 19 years old, valued up to 62 million. Genuinely quite impressed by how he has already developed. What tactic are we using? Well, it's something I was working on. I was trying to do like a, a pentagon and we've turned it into using Scalvini as a libero. Having that first touch, having that passing, the vision, the positioning. I just thought, a dribble on 11, it's too good not to try and use a libero for once in this game. Atalanta came fourth, it's not bad. Scalvini averaged a 7.04 in Serie A. One goal, one assist, 37 games. That's ridiculous for using something like this. We've got him training as a libero support, obviously, with passing as an extra, a little bit extra there. So we'll give it another couple of seasons as the Libero and see how he gets on. But so far, like, anticipation 17. Wow, concentration 7, 16. The green ones popping out there. Okay, let's fast forward. It's the end of our third season. Let's ignore the fact that Atalanta finished 10th. But let's go straight to our man, Giorgio Scalvini. You'll see there, highest average rating of the team, 7.15. Playing as a Libero. Yep. 7.15. Let's look at him. What are any more greens? Markings up to 16. Positioning 16. Concentration 17. Anticipation still 18. Jump and reach 17. He's 6 foot 4. His stamina is 18. And strength for 16. He's already phenomenal, isn't he? First touch 13. Dribble and still 11. Passing 15. Visions 14. Did he get much numbers? Did he get anything? Two goals. Two goals. It's not too bad at all. It was another header this time from a free kick. I suppose he's six for four with that jumping. We want to see more from set pieces, but he got an eight point one in that game against Empoli. Still training him as the libero and just playing him as many games as possible. We've got him as a traits as dictates tempo, which one for someone stepping out of defence in the midfield. Doesn't die on the tackles and brings the ball out of defence. I think that's a really key one in the central area, pushing towards that midfield. Great to see that. Like. The tactic may not be working for Atalanta, but it's working for Giorgio, isn't it? 7.15, four player of the matches, and in a season where they came 10th. And now you can see Arsenal, Chelsea, Milan all want him. Liverpool, Newcastle, Tottenham say they want him on loan. That's not going to fly, is it? How long will he last at Atalanta? If you don't know how we do this, I let the club decide transfers. Who they bring in, who they sell, so I don't determine where he goes. I want to see how his career develops naturally. And I think the way it's going, with his average rating, the price, the interest, it's not going to be too long until he leaves Serie A. It is happening if you look right down at the bottom there. For 68 million up front, 71 overall, which is like, what is that 3 million? Giorgio Scalvini has moved to Chelsea. He is 21 years old, it's 2025, we're over four, four, three years down the line. 128 games at Atalanta and Serie A, and this four and a half star elite centre back has moved to the Premier League. Now valued up to 156 million, 19 caps for Italy now. Look at, like, look at these mentals. 18 anticipation, 17 concentration, 16 decisions, 16 positioning, 
physically an absolute monster. Left foot is reasonable, he's nearly perfect. First touch 13, heading's 15, marking 16, passing, tackling technique. He's just, there's, there's very, very little flaws in this guy's game. Maybe off the ball if you're playing him at a Libero. Trying something slightly different with Chelsea. I created like a 4-3-3 for Napoli, which you'll see the video up there the link somewhere that one that's safe for this one and what i did was i just pulled the the dm into the center of defense make him a libero and let's give it a couple of years and see how scalvini gets on here at chelsea it's now 2031 look at the table chelsea have finished second in the premier league that bodes quite well for the five at the back Giorgio scalvini on a 7.24 average rating the highest for this team playing as a libero and what I will say is, what I noticed was, this Chelsea team up front is bad. Havertz is an advanced forward. hudson Adoy is an inside forward. Paul Wanner from Bayern. Mount Enzo Fernandez. Like, if they actually bought anyone, it's 2031 for God's sake. Two goals, some set pieces there for Scalvini, but let's see how is he looking on the old attributes. Like, the fact that there's like what one con... And that's just he's a bit unsettled. Was his new contract, is it? Failing to win a domestic cup. Fucking hell. I'm just seeing a lot of greens. 19 anticipation. Ridiculous. 18 concentration. 17 decisions. Positioning 16. Vision 16. For a Libra, he could play anywhere. Marking 16. Dribbling's up to 12. Physically superb at 27. We're probably getting close to like the peak of his powers. 209 games for Chelsea. 74 caps for Italy. Four and a half star ball playing defender, four and a half star libero. Probably one of the best liberos I've seen for quite a while. Someone who starts as a defender. You can probably take like DMs and center mids and make them, but someone starts as a center back to be a libero like this is ridiculous. We're going to go forward till the what, next three years and see how he gets at 30 years old. Then we'll end it there because when you get to like 28, 20, and 30, things are going to start declining and then you don't get to see him at his peak. I'm not sure we're going to get higher on this. I think this is pretty, pretty much the best we're going to get. But let's see how he gets there at 2034. Here is 30 year old Giorgio Scalvini, still at Chelsea. And yeah, look, things starting to go down a little bit. Nothing like Division 16, Position 16, Jump and Reach 17, like 300 games to Chelsea, 97 caps. He'll end up getting 100 caps at LA, which is ridiculous. Value's starting to drop now because he's 30 years old. He is an elite centre-back. He is just a ridiculous player. I've not seen this many greens on a World Cup legend for quite a while. Heading, first touch, 14, 15 is brilliant. Passing, 15. Tackling, 15. Technique, 14. And he's got that work rate, teamwork, decisions, composure. Oh, is this the best player I've ever done on the channel? I think possibly this may be the best one. Average ratings-wise, he has never gone under a 7. One Premier League, two runners-up, a Champions League now. Chelsea won the 2027-28 Champions League final. Scalvini played at the right there and got a 6.5. One of his worst games in a 3-2... Extra time, stole it off Bayern win, but he gets a Champions League medal all the same. One FA Cup, a 2-1 win, a 2-0 two, two win over West Ham, London Derby, and who scored the first goal? It's our man, Scalvini, what happened? I thought it was going to be a header, into the box, Taylor, back to Scalvini, no. Oh, it's a thunder bastard outside the box. You'll love to see it. Not even an NXGN. Well, fuck you. There we have it. I think it's safe to say we have turned Giorgio yes, Scalvini. Have I called him Scalini? Have I called him the wrong name? Oh my god. Scalvini from a Wonder Kid to a legend. I may have said his name wrong like six times. I'm now worried about this. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit. Guys, I think this shows you how good this guy can be. One of the best. He is going to go somewhere big in the future. Big future for Scalvini. If you want to see more of this, please let me know in the comments who you want to see me simulate through their career next. Let me know in the comments below. Please like the video to let me know you like this kind of content as well. I enjoyed doing that. I like seeing how these players develop and like trying tactics. You kind of get to try things without worrying about the results just to get the best out of a player. So for me, Andrew and Giorgio Scalvini from <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.